Hello everyone, with me is Dr. Akansha Chaudhary, who has gotten a score of 181, that too in the first attempt while doing internship. So Akansha, first of all, many, many congratulations. Thank you, sir. So Akansha, uh, how did you manage to study along with the internship? That is my main question. Uh, how did you get the time for studies? So it's like ki, um, we used to go to hospital in the morning and during the hospital rounds, uh, I used to do the uh, late night PYQs, like all the late night PYQs and cushion banks and PYQs during the hospital. Okay. And then we used to request our teachers that we have exams. So can you please let us go early? Okay. So we, we used to come early by like before 12 or by 12. Hmm. And then uh, after coming back, we used to cook. Like in China, we don't get food, like especially vegetarian. Mm. And then after uh, we used to study, uh, like, uh, and then from 7.30 Chinese time, uh, we had our classes until 2, approx 2, usually we have classes. So basically, during the lab one, we used to sleep for 5 hours, maximum mm. 5 hours. Mm. Then uh, after lab, uh, lab one finished, in lab two, like, we were quite relaxed because we did, like, very hard work in lab one so lab two was kind of easy for us and we managed our sleep schedule and everything during lab two and okay. i followed cerebellum blindly from day one until lab three in fact uh, not lab three in fact uh, that 47 minutes video like uh, night before the exam mm -hmm. i was like Kaise hoga, kya hoga? and then i saw that video and like yes all questions to me are <laughs> 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 right, right. So Akansha, uh, we uh, start mission classes at around 5 p.m. in India. So that corresponds to around 7.30 in China. 7.30, yes. So, so were you able to do all the live classes of mission lab one? Yes, sir. I Sorry did subjects. all the uh, except uh, two or three subjects which I earlier did from different, like in my fifth year, fourth year, I did from different teachers and I was like, pretty much uh, comfortable with those subjects so you so except, only. Hmm. yeah like 16 15 16 subjects i did from cerebellum only so uh, akansha uh, along with the mission classes in lab one we always have this end the test and discussion were you able to uh, 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 attempt all those ends and were you able to follow the discussions also or would you see them the next day uh sir for few subjects uh, for those subjects which I was able to finish the uh, syllabus on time, I did the ENDs. But for those subjects I missed, like uh, didn't get enough time or I wasn't confident enough. So I did ENDs later okay. on the weekends, but okay. I didn't watch videos of all ENDs. Okay. So you would just uh, take the exam and uh, just, just uh, appear as an exam, uh, but not watch the discussion videos. Right. Yeah, I appeared in the exam and then I marked those uh, questions okay. which I get, got wrong. I marked okay. them in my notes. Okay, and uh, okay, and then you would go back and revise those topics where you were getting many questions wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So in the lab and along with the lab one, you were able to complete almost all the subjects along with the revisions from from some other platforms that you did for two three subjects. Yeah, like with uh, those subjects which I couldn't follow in lab one, I just left them for that time being because mm -hmm. if i continue followed them then i could have missed the remaining subject right. so for it's like ent i did in lab two in lab two so yeah. in the lab two we usually have ends and we ask the students to revise by themselves so yeah. were you able to revise all the subjects in time because the time in, in fmg exam the time is a limiting factor in five months we have to complete the course and it revise it at least twice so in the lab two were you able to do that revise in uh, well in time in fact in lab two i had pretty much time i revised two times almost okay. subjects in lab two okay because it was quite relaxed because in lab one mm. we literally did for like 12 13 hours mm. so in lab two we were pretty relaxed, relaxed so okay. yeah uh what about these late night pyqs that we have every day were you a user of that that, that was the best thing okay so you you would uh, do all the late night pyq sessions I tried as much as I could. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Akansha, the third thing is marathons that we have, which is a lab three. So the idea yeah. is that, you know, before the exam in seven, eight days, you know, help the student revise everything that in the live class. Did you follow the marathons? And if you did, how much did they help you? Sir, I followed marathon in few subjects, but I followed marathon 
schedule for all, all subject okay. like the schedule okay. that you provided mm-hmm. i revised those subject in that day itself mm-hmm. except like nine on ninth we have to go back to india so mm-hmm. those ophthalma and those few subject i was the videos on 2x while i was going to my center so i followed for few subjects but mm-hmm. i followed the schedule for all subjects okay so so you were following the mission 200 plus schedule from the day one till like the last day uh blindly blindly okay so uh, akansha what is your advice to your juniors i mean there are many students who are still in their internship or still uh, in the in the first year or second year or third year or final year so i i want you to give some suggestion to those who are still doing their mbbs yet to appear for the examination and i also want you to give some advice to your colleagues who were not as lucky and who could not clear the exam this time so as somebody who has yeah please to be honest all my friends have passed like we three friends used to study together one of okay. them vivan got 237 or 232 wow. Wow. one of my friend got 211 wow. and we we all three studied together from cerebellum we used to discuss questions and literally the questions we used to discuss they appeared in exam right wonderful and to my juniors i would like to say they should start studying like early the paper is not that easy and i must say them they like, follow cerebellum blindly in fact i remember uh, in psm and in obg rena mam and vivek sir they, they like for particular question they said they gonna come in exam and mm. like i am sitting on my study table and i have my sticky notes stick and i can see around 20 to 30 questions like literally as it from what they said okay so you said the exam is not so easy to pass so one has to study hard at the same time exam is not that difficult that you can't pass it if you do hard work right yes, yes. consist uh, like you have to be consistent you can't like one day you can study and you have to be consistent you know akansha one of the best part is in the last uh, one one and a half years what i'm seeing is majority of the students who are passing the exam are able to do so in the first attempt itself so so that simply shows that when you know start studying fmg examination is not that difficult to pass but of course you have to study hard you have to be consistent you have to give long hours but if you do so it definitely can be done the second yes. part of my question was what about your colleagues who could not pass it this time what is your advice to them i would like to tell them that if you were not following cerebellum or if you are not a cerebellum user you should follow like this cerebellum the key is okay but but as a strategy matlab uh, i want you to motivate them that if i can do it with internship with so many things going on you can also do it yeah of course they can do it like uh, anyone who can who is ready to give 12 hours a day for like not every day 12 hours i won't say that mm-hmm. but for the last 2 3 months you have to give that Correct. 10 to 12 hours with uh, except classes like mm. 6 you to 7 to, you hours you have to build you have to build that momentum and in the end if you can you know push 10 12 hours it, it is more than enough to you know push you beyond 150 175 200 150. because in the in december we were like ab nahi hoga we are uh-huh. so much of fatigue but still somehow we manage like pyq we kar lete hain kuch aise revise kar lete hain so in end it was like that only uh, akansha uh, what is your opinion on the live classes that are held because you know as a teacher i would tell you uh, teaching live the entire course is not easy because we have limited time given and we want to complete everything and it's also taxing because you have to speak to the camera so but but does it help a student in you know maintaining consistency and also you know staying uh, in sync with the schedule actually it was the best thing like i was telling i did two three subjects from different platforms for those subject i couldn't complete them on time like mm-hmm. for those subject i did them on either on a holiday or in the mm-hmm. lab too mm-hmm. so i think live class is the best thing wonderful agansha i'm sure our parents must be very proud of you and yes. uh, many many congratulations again and and i hope that uh, once you are done with your internship you come back to india and start preparing for neat pg as soon as possible because we are very sure that our fme students will make us proud even when they appear for neat pg or nict yes we will definitely try our best all the best my dear may god bless thank you thank you so much